have pushed the button. Nice. Are we live? Yes. Just gotta quickly confirm. Hello, everybody. Oh, shit, we are live. All right. Yeah, it said you're live. Listen, <laughs> I, you I don't mean? know. I, Redline, it, it was working, but it just is, you know, it's technical difficulties. This show's cursed. Anyway, everyone. Just, you say, are we live? And I say, yes. And then you say, oh, shit, we're live. Like, it's a. <laughs> it's shocking. That's what it is. Listen. Uh, it's this show is still run better than Pappy. Riker's just not Pappy Riker's just not used man. to things operating so smoothly. <laughs> anyway, what what's up guys? Welcome to this week's episode of Can't believe I fucked that up. Hello everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Karama X, and Ish isn't here right now, but he'll be back next week. And y'all are watching the number one show for Eve Online to air on Sundays, usually at 2100, but, you know, goons kind of, you know, let a keep star go abandoned and then st stolen all the loot. Uh, but yeah, you're watching Between Two Keep Stars. I've got quite a couple guests, of course, Spicy McNicey, but he's here all the time, so who really cares? Uh, Kale Eagle Eye and uh, Redline. It's me. <laughs> I'm Redline13. Why'd you say Redline so passively? Like, just, ah, uh, Redline. Like, whatever. It, because I, I like to mess with them. Is there some uneasy tension here? No. Uh, yes, you you heard it here. You heard it here uh, first. The uh, the Pappy media sources are infighting. More news at eleven. Cracks forming. In what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> in, in fact, uh, there's so many cracks that uh, if you want to uh, help make the cracks even bigger, you should go and uh, buy some new and post merch. That, or that'll in mid that that will really make the cracks fall. Ten out of ten. I like what you're doing here. Yeah, but please, <laughs> guys, don't buy the shirts, man. If you put even more money into these guys' hands, like it's just gonna fuck Tess completely if you buy it. So don't. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, Tess didn't get any of the TTT cuts, so like, or yeah, they don't the now. Trash so Talk like, Tuesday yeah. cut. Why would they? Because like they're they're a big part of it, dude. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I would say I would say Billy's still relevant in there, but like. He just joins as like a horde line member now, dude. You gotta have like Kale and Mavel in there just talking mad shit now. I mean, he's just like Brisk. Stop. Like, I'm done. <laughs> what, what, of what I said, what what is wrong? Like, what is false of what I've said? Stop. Like, he is he is basically just Pappy's version of Brisk or Ball. No, he's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> it's okay, no. dude. We have Vili... to accept it at one point. Look, Villy retired of his own accord. He wasn't forced out. He wasn't pushed out or anything. You just let him do his thing. No, we're not saying he wasn't retired on his own on regard. Like That's just like PGL, snowboarding on his own regard, you know what I mean? Actually, I should go snowboarding this weekend. Snowboarding I mean, does sound fun. Honestly. I'd love to go snowboarding. If fucking Australia got any. <laughs> well, maybe you should fucking fly somewhere, dude. Like, I think the you problem is that you're in Australia. <laughs> I think that's the biggest problem is that you're in Australia. <laughs> so it's my biggest strength and my greatest weakness. <laughs> Being from Australia. But you know who else is in Australia? The guy that actually toasted the iHub. What? What? I'm not from Australia. You didn't toast God Hub. I have pictures of no, me toasting the iHub. Well, you, you see, um, I, I have it on good accord, and uh, within the next like week or two here, uh, there's going to be a very, very special report coming out uh, on the Hero News on the Hero State Network. Uh, so, uh, yeah, be uh, the what? the Hero State Network. What the I'm fuck so. Is that? I can't today, dude. What? <laughs> what? 
Listen, all I'm saying is that there's going to be a big news report, and I have ev- I have proof that Mav didn't toast the iHub, and it's uh yeah, it's you pretty have proof. Good. I'm gonna uh-huh. go watch Pando play World of Warships. Okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well just be careful if he says he's uh pinging for dreads he's probably not pinging for dreads don't fall for it did you kidding me arcadio was ping that i was mad earlier and i was kind of amused by that because i was watching my show and he added me and i saw it on my computer so i opened it up on my phone and he was he added me and said kick you and i said shut the fuck up let me watch my show <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like i'm sitting there watching my show and he's like oh it's some specific person is mad. I'm like, no, I'm watching my show. Like, leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. Big, big oop. Anyway, uh, so you actually want let, to... Let's actually talk about some Eve news today. Um, so a lot has happened. The whole, like, uh, the whole AOM thing, which... Yeah. Um, people have done a lot of stupid shit in Eve. I think this one takes the cake. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but transferring... Your staging keep star to the Imperium for no reason other than you, you had it as a part of a deal of which you were then going to sneak your entire alliance into another alliance, but you're not really sneaking it because you talked about it on a fireside. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess the real question is, right? Like, um, I, I did hear a rumor that they were having some issues on the other server. Like uh, with their space and stuff. So apparently, one of AOM's biggest allies on um, their server has turned on them. So they've got a uh, going into damage control. If you look at the numbers uh, during the CNTZ, they're down about three to five thousand. Uh, yeah. So like, I guess it's kind of like a good thing for them um, that this happened. Like, kind of, sort of, not really type thing. I'd say, is it like they? they well, it's pretty hard. I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, right? Like they they have to go back and defend their their main income source. You know what I mean? Like their main income source that's not transferable across servers. Yeah, but they don't need to transfer it across servers because, I mean, why? Okay, I just I I'm not I'm not like saying it's like the smartest thing to do to just transfer your keep started uh, goons, but like. I mean, you never know until you try it, right? Like, yeah. maybe, maybe, uh, maybe in a few years, I'll I'll transfer my keep started goons. I'll let you know when I anchor mine. Right Man. off the TTT. One day I'll have enough money for an Astra. <laughs> <laughs> One day. What are these? When CCP stops bending me over and not even giving me a courtesy, like. Uh, what's it is what it is, dude. But no, like I mean, best of luck to AOM or wherever they went. I think they went to DC, didn't they? Dracarys. Well, most of the line members did, and honestly, I hope, I hope they find good homes and that they can, you know, not get fucked as badly. Some of them even went to fraternity, like the uh, the got the the CNTZ that's always been on Trank and hasn't got that uh that issue that arised on the other server so yeah so even fraternity bolstered their numbers oh that's good as long as they're happy yeah i mean look as long as you're enjoying the game that's all that matters that is the truth but anyway it's the truth that we try to tell ourselves but we all know it's unless we're at each other's throats blowing each other up that's when we're really happy <laughs> yeah i guess for us a lot then that is true i mean i've seen a lot more passive um results come from eve in the past few years like i don't know like a lot more just accepting what's happening versus just fighting it out like people used to I'm kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested to see how this, uh, how things are going to play out within the next couple of months here. Because I don't know. You've got like forces seem to definitely be aligning themselves. You know, fire have been a little bit uh, more wanting to attack. Pro- uh, RC, RC has been forming up. Goons, you know, our goons have been hinting at a quote unquote, we're going to go and do a thing after this keep star, which this keep star is going to be finished probably this weekend or within the next couple of days uh 
what was it horde just recently deployed down to help fire and uh yeah everything seems to be uh everything seems to be falling into place not 100 percent sure if horde deployed um i've heard their rumor of the deployment uh i can't confirm or deny because obviously i'm not in horde but um i've heard the rumor of them deploying down to assist uh versus goons and i have seen a uh, with some dank fire spies cuz you know eve meta gaming uh specific horde uh factions are blue inside of horde from fire mm. vice versa so no real commenting on that until like anything gets announced officially but hopefully you know just make make the south spicy again right like <laughs> That's that. I mean, guys, look. Have you have you guys gone to DTACP recently? Nope, I have not gone anywhere but catch. There is a shiny new initiative Keepstar in DTACP. Oh, dude. Yeah. So in, uh, look, in Esoteria. Things in Esoteria. Yep. Uh, test old home staging of DTACP and P. There is a, a Keepstar on the gate. Uh, initiative dropped it a few days ago uh, in an anchored, so, you know, the, we know they've got their super fleet up here, we know they've got Titans up here from seeing it on the Keepstar. They've got a Keepstar in system within jump range to the regional to faith the bolus. You know, put two and two together, I think it's going to get a little bit spicy in the next couple of weeks. Speaking of spicy, uh, spicy, you uh, had a small tussle with Arcadios today. Uh, do you want to... Uh enlighten us on that well i mean it's casual arcadios um i've been getting slapped by goons too much i need to come raise morale a little bit um result and effect uh going into play here so every now and then he comes in uh messes with rc to just like raise morale because he thinks he can come over here and just play for fun right um lo and behold he ref the jump bridge that was kind of irrelevant to literally anything going on um, but we kind of just camped his outgate, um, and his only way to go home was through curse. So, uh, with his way out, kind of, well, per se, um, screwed over, uh, we kind of just sat there on the gate for, I don't know, 30 minutes while we looked at each other. Um, I had misread his ping. I thought his CTA was at 2130, so I was like, whatever, I'm fine with just sitting here and making him miss his own op. But, uh, it is what it is. Misread the ping. And, uh, yeah, so he ended up uh, warping to the gate, finally. Um, he bombed the Apox that were on grid, and uh, they took a little bit of damage. He focused the Guardians, and he ended up trading his entire fleet for three Apox, and... Sorry, not his entire fleet. He ended up trading all but 22 of his Serbs and two of his Scimitars um, and his Monitor uh, for... Um, uh, six Guardians and some Apox, plus like a few of my Serbs and one of my Lynx because people didn't anchor up properly. So it was a good fight. I mean, it was a good tussle. I was kind of just watching the Keepstar being looted the entire time it was happening, though. Hey, some good drops. Yeah, and apparently people actually like got out with supers and shit. That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, Tess got out with a Nyx while you were setting up for the show. That's, you know, here's the thing. I, I really can't hate on goons by saying like, oh, haha, they didn't do it. Um, cause again, this is all free loot. Yeah. I mean, like it's free for them, right? They, uh, they, they, they didn't really steal it. I mean, it was given to them. So now they're just going to steal it from what was given to them. Honestly, I'd rather anybody have it besides. So this is this is all great. But they've gotten a lot of goons. Have a yeah, lot goons. Of... goons made out like bandits. I don't think anyone can contest that. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, some of that wealth gets spread around to some friends, but. You know, at the end of the day, whatever. Who cares? What? What? You? You want money from goons? No, I don't want money from goons. I want tears. Why would you want tears from goons? No, I want tears of joy. 
Ah, okay. As we make... I think you're broken. Yeah, no, it's okay. I wasn't mentally prepared for this show because I got messaged eight minutes before it. <laughs> I, I, I did too. Riker was like, show what? now. I was like, I had to pause watching my show. I'm in, I'm in like the fifth season of Seven Deadly Sins, and it's just getting intense. And I'm like, oh my god. So what you're saying is the show is short notice. I mean, it, it, it always is. Like that's Somebody shit. said Meliodas? <laughs> Freaking weeb. Are you kidding me? This show's awesome. Yeah, I, I can't comment because I've never really seen it. But no, either way, like, it's, uh... I haven't really been doing much after I lost my three workles to, uh... to the goon fleet that came into our space. So... Just been hanging out, dude. Like... In the uh, the insurance on three you should have at least paid for a new one, right? Well, you would think that, right? Um, the the way that these pilots were flying them, uh, I was kind of interested to see if they would even be insured. <laughs> like, so you know, how if you get you get tackled in a oracle, right? You're like, oh, maybe I should ping an FC, right? Like, maybe I should let somebody know I'm, you know, tackled, or I might get tackled. Um, so these guys, they decided that uh, they didn't want to ping. Uh, I guess they panicked and waited through half their panic cycle before anybody got told. So by the time oh, even, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So by the time even any, anybody even got like alerted that it was going on, um, yeah, it was it was over. We had um, we had a situation similar to that. Uh, we get pings, rock or tackled. We're like, all right, cool. So I jump up, form up. I'm like, all right, how many? It's like 47. I was like, all right, cool. I can deal with that quite easily. I'm like, how long on panic? 30 seconds. Okay, fuck. All right, quick. Jump in. There's 130 on grid. All right, guys. We're going home. <laughs> That's exactly what happens, dude. It's like people don't give you the right info, and then they're just like, yeah, dude, there's like 20 people on grid. Jump in there. There was like 200 in it. I'm like, what the hell, dude? That happened the other day, too. We lost a uh, we lost a Rorkel that was mining again. It was, I don't know, it was like a month ago. Not recently, sorry. Um, and they were, they were like, yeah, we're tackled. And I said, okay, cool. By what? They were like 10 Kikis. I jump in there right as a 200 man at Kiki fleet from in it lands. I was like, what? That's not 10 Kikis. Like, yeah, I was thoroughly, un thoroughly disappointed. So. Hey, but, it happens. I don't know. I feel like this war down south is going to, you know, get more intense, and I hope it does, right? I mean, the south has always had the nature of having intense and bloody wars, while the I north has been... Why. No one wants it. <laughs> exactly. That's why everybody fights over it. Like, I don't want to live in any of the south, right? Like, I would rather live literally anywhere in the north, and people are like, oh, well, why? Like, the ratting is better in the south. I'm like, meh, you're not bothered in the north. There's nobody up north to mess with you, right? And it's a logistical nightmare to get through, like, stain and shit to get to high sec. Like, <laughs> you, got the, you got the angry Russians down there who nip at your heels every time you try to do anything, unless they live in the Esoteria. I mean, I guess, I, yeah, like, <laughs> I guess them adding the gate there and Samnir, like, I mean, I, that, I don't know. I didn't really like that change. I think having that, uh, that Samnir as a jump freighter point only would have made, made things more interesting because you could jump from Samnir to T-Tech in just barely. It was like a maximum light year distance. Hmm. So. I mean, God, we test lived in ESO for years, and we hated ESO, so. <laughs> That's it. I fucking loved ESO. My favorite region in the game was Pure Blind. Hands down. Pure Blind or Tribute? Like, it depends on what constellation you live in Tribute, but Pure Blind was, like, the best. Offered the most content, and offered, like, the safest area to rat in, and stuff like that. Like, and then when I was in Trigger Happy, we lived in Tribute, and, uh, Dude, I'm telling you, it was like nobody was up there to mess with you. 
Nah, Provi's where it's at, bro. <laughs> no, you want to talk about Providence, dude? You want to talk about 500 roaming gangs an hour? Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, look, like... there was always content. <laughs> Whether you want it or not, it's there. <laughs> like. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now we have a lot of, like, ex Red Bomb gangs hunting Hero Coalition right now. So. Like, I know Tope has a structure in high sec, uh, and they use that to hunt uh, Providence, specifically, like, our pocket. And then I know Lowland just set up a structure over towards the Dido area, and he uses that for a jump off point for blops and stuff. Why don't we just blow it up? Yeah. That requires showing that we want to give the effort to towards them, like, if they mattered to us, like, whatever, dude. If you're irrelevant to somebody, the best way to show it is, like, just ignore them. Uh, looks like another Ned Hoggard just got out. Nongrin. Nongrin. Hey, let's go. <laughs> I mean, 1.7 trillion in, what was it, Strunt? Like, bloody hell. <laughs> 1.7 trillion Esk and Strunt? I mean, look, I love Cryo dearly, but um, I take everything he says with a grain of salt, but yeah, apparently. Dude, that's like... So much strong. What? It's like 500 million plus. That's like 900 jump raiders. Like, holy shit. 1,800, <laughs> actually. 540 million units. Strong. Oh my god. I mean, look, that is um, 127th of the way towards paying off their war bonds. So, you know, good on them. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, listen. I would be willing if, uh, if goons were able to basically expand their war bond efforts to people outside the Imperium, I would have bought, like, a ton of them. Because then I'd still be making money. Yeah. Speaking of war bonds, how's the test war bonds doing? Oh, they're going fine. Um, we believe it, like, um, we're actually in a good spot at the moment. So, um, yeah, they're being paid out. They're being matured fine. We don't need to buy them back. Uh, we can if we want to, but everyone's just happy to grab their... Um, you know, their uh, maturity rate. I don't know how what the fuck you call it. The extra money they get on top of what they paid. So, yeah. The interest. That's the word I'm looking for. So, I remember it's like lunchtime and I've been awake since yesterday. Uh, <laughs> That's fine, dude. I just, I haven't stopped yeah. yet, too. It's okay. Uh, yeah. So, the interest has been still being paying out. They're still maturing. Um, I haven't skipped a beat. They're going fine. Well, we can look on the map and see that there's one par one pilot active in Polaris. So maybe the devs are doing something with Munins. Oh. <laughs> Probably not, dude. Don't get your hopes up. I mean, look, one can hope. I know Munin, uh hacks are a spicy topic. I'm not a big fan of them, even though I am a big block FC. I just, pff, Ferox's retributions, you know, those are my favorite ships to fly. I'll tell you what, my favorite time in EVE, right? My favorite time of seeing in EVE, my favorite time just playing the game was back in 2014 when just before the first World War B, like just before the Casino War happened, um, like when everybody was using the T3C meta with Max and then like, you oh, have yeah. like crazy different fleet comps coming out of that, like Slippery Pete's were still a thing. Oh, it was so much fun. I'm kind of sad that I missed the uh, T3C meta. Like, back when it was still a thing, I had just gotten into uh, Waffles that was starting to use the T3C meta. And I was like, dude, I finally get to use my Proteus that I trained for for, like, literally six months. And I was super happy. And then it's like, oh, by the way, uh, we're no longer using this. And I was so sad.
never got to use my Proteus in PvP. Yeah, I think that was like my favorite time period. Everybody's like, yeah, 2012, but 2014 had the most conflict going on. Like, it was just after the Saab changes, so people were still figuring it out. They were just about to elite release Citadels. Like, I think I think that was like the best time. I will say I did not like the Alpha Strike meta. That was, I I, I did, especially with Matt. Miles. <laughs> I guess that's kind of why I I don't like Munins because it's like oh hey I I I tried to get on the kill man. Well, I mean that's any hack really. Like it's not just Munins, right? Like Serbs, Alpha, right? Like it's it's all Alpha based doctrines. Even the Ishtars that people run. Well, not people. More specifically, me and uh, in it. Well, in it and it runs them, but I haven't seen them run them in a minute. I think the last time they ran them was uh when we went to go haze those eagles. One well, the cool thing about the uh, the Ishtar Doctrine is that I can literally just assign my drones to the FC and then just go take a break. Well, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but we'll I, talk I'm, after show. Listen, <laughs> I totally don't do that, but I know someone who does. Looks at Loki. Speaking of Loki, uh, he should probably come on the show. No, he's, not. Saying. he's not feeling well. Oh, he's got it. he's got COVID for anybody that doesn't know, and he's uh he said he's gonna pass the alliance executorship off to a uh, SRP or Spurgasm, better known. Um, after he croaks and dies. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be great. And with that news, hey, uh, Kale, can I come join Tess? Yeah, sure, mate. Black Omega is recruiting. <laughs> God, I'll have to find the new Sunday show host because we have enough test shells. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, look, man, like, I, I've been saying on my show that my views of my own do not represent test at all. <laughs> you kidding me, dude? Redline's going to be super happy because Riker's not going to sit in his show and plug, oh, IQ 300's recruiting every five minutes. <laughs> hey, listen, it, to be fair, I promised I was going to stop doing that, and I will. After IQ 300 isn't recruiting. Well, no, it's uh, he, here's the thing. I'm not going to say that IQ 300 is recruiting because while IQ 300 is recruiting, Mana Dot is also recruiting. I hate you. <laughs> I really, really should have just kept streaming the Keepstar thing. <laughs> God damn. Redline, if, if you don't like that, then definitely don't look on the stream. <laughs> yeah, no, I see it. I see it there. Just, I'm just, listen, I want to give new players a new home. That <laughs> Okay, RC isn't, like, when I say block, I mean, like, big block. We are a big block. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, well, we've only got one new bro court. Look, man. Everybody's a part of a block, whether they like it or not. If you're a null sec, your diplomacy. Carlos Warren is part of a block. Is, yes, he is. No, he's not. Because no one would take him. That's right. Up. Have you guys seen these new skins, dude? Which ones? The new ones that yeah, CCP is uh, money mongering over. Oh, the Doctor Who ones? Yeah. Like the, cool. the yeah, blue dope. lava coal reskins? Yeah. They're super dope. Also, by the way, we have a uh, we have another guest, uh, special guest Dex. <coughs> so is he a special Hello. guest or just a guest? I'm I'm a very special guest. I'm special. Okay, he's just special. And uh, I'm special in a very different and variety of ways. One of those oh. being that no one can understand you. Exactly. I understand him. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, that, that's, that's so, maybe it's maybe it's because I come from Australia. Uh, we're kind of you know, the, the, that kind of accent is perfectly uh, fine. <laughs> we have we have very similar traits. Uh, our appreciation for alcohol is one of them. <clears throat> our, our fondness for the uh, four-letter words starting with uh, C and ending in T. You know, C yes. next Tuesday. <laughs> that is a tremendous word, also. Let's say literally nice. all. I'll be in a fleet. I was in a fleet with Stedio, right? And that's all he said. 
<laughs> that was his entire vocabulary. I, I love Stadio, he's brilliant, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone undermines him and his fucking uh, head explodes, man. He just, the, oh, it's hilarious. Um, the profanity is just obscene. It's tremendous. How are we all anyway, lads? It's been, it's been a little while. Are we all well? I'm not going to lie, Dex. I thought you died for a minute. What? What? How? I just stopped hearing from you, and I'm just like, <laughs> eh, and he's dead. Uh, it's clearly dead, yes. <laughs> Red Line, you suddenly went all quiet. Is, is this your quiet hatred for me? Just you, you, you try to contain it? My wife brought me an apple and a bowl of caramel sauce. So I'm <laughs> eating it. What? Look, when's the banana stream, Red Line? Come on! As I mean, show is not broadcasting anymore. Are you not yeah. supposed to put the caramel on the apple? Five you dip it. I mean, I'm pretty sure between two keep stars could do a banana show. I mean, we did a fox show. Uh, well, I probably maybe does, yeah. Hey, look, I, 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 the, I, I seriously think the reason that you got all those views was not because it was a, the first cam show and face reveal for uh, New Eden Post. It was just because you were eating a banana, Red Line. <laughs> just remember, Red Line, it's whenever you eat a banana, you don't, th there's absolutely no eye contact allowed whatsoever. Jesus. You, you gotta stare at that camera and stick that bad boy as oh, far down your no. throat as possible. <laughs> some, some proper deep throating now. That's not how that works, dude. You gotta maintain constant oh, yeah. contact. Maybe, maybe a bit of whispering or encouragement or something. You gotta, you gotta stare him down. You gotta search your dominance. So you guys actually, uh, you guys, like... Uh, Red Line, I feel the quality of streams has went down. You were, you were, you spent like several hours staring at a keep star. Well, care to explain yourself, Red Line? Several hours, mm -hmm. man. We were streaming that goddamn motherfucker for more like 20 hours over the last two days. It was a stationary object, and somehow it's entertainment. I, I, I do not understand. Please explain. Dex, the you know, in the entertainment now. Dex, you know how Pappy shot like undefended keep stars for like a month? Uh, much to my, much to my distaste, yes. There you go. Saying uh, that, I did. I was the uh, the test super FC when the uh, the reinforcement on one of those keep stars went south, and Fraternity warped five of their goddamn Titans into a bubble on the keep star. I was. Uh, that's unfortunate. Sounds like Fraternity. So what? Which, what is what, what? So what exactly? Apart from like a stationary object exploding, has there been anything else going on in Eve at all? Or AOM, AOM imploded. I, apparently, that's what the keep star was related to. Yeah. Someone tells me anyway. Yeah, so AOM, AOM imploded, and uh, they, in so they were searching for a new home, right? And uh, they basically, from what I've heard, they bought all of the actual accounts from. Uh, RR of all well, their leadership, and they were just going to move over their leadership uh, and basically take control of RR of RR. And Admittance was like, oh, hell no. And so he uh, put the unholy fury of God inside of them and uh, oh. <clears throat> kicked both groups. Uh, AOM transferred the keep star to Goons, and then Goons let it go abandoned. And now they. Oh. Uh... So, 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 this, what you're telling me here, Spacey, is that. That Mittens disapproves of underhanded behavior. Is that, is that what you're telling me here? What I'm telling you is what <laughs> happened. What I'm not telling you <laughs> is anything else. This, here's, this the is... here's the thing. Mittens disapproves of underhanded behavior when it's not happening to when it's happening to him. As I I I sense uh uh, a small degree of hypocrisy here. Look, I, I, man, I'm, I'm not qualified to tell you anything <laughs> other than what I know about nothing, okay? Like, all right, fair enough. I, I don't know anything. I'm just telling you what the what the rumor sphere is, all right? Uh, that's, yeah, I, I do like that. That's the ultimate of hypocrisy there. Underhanded behavior. Oh, I. Mittens, I disapprove. Load of shit. Uh, it was However, also the uh, massive white watchman as well. Oh well, yeah, the uh, the massive feed from uh, the Snuffco and Cap F. Uh, wasn't that big, all things considering. Like Fraternity had thirteen hundred ish on grid, and they still jumped in there six hundred to uh, try to re um, put the because the fort yeah. was in hole. 
the dead did they feel they were outnumbered somehow? Some yeah, the, way for the, the, they went out uh, like they still jumped in outnumbered and gave it the best um you know like power to them for trying like going up against those numbers but yeah they ended up not being able to um destroy the fortizar the I grid like... was really fucky apparently both sides were getting dis uh, disconnects or like continuously which was making it hard to log back in obviously with tie-dye you would think that certain people would learn and stuff that blobbing is uh, I, I don't understand also can I uh, Riker I, I notice you're lacking in a in a co-host this is this, this is disappointing listen Ish has been yeah. doing stuff and I and uh yeah I mean I'm practically the new co-host I'm here every weekend uh, like. well, well yeah you have to pass an interview uh Alicia has uh, uh uh, you have to get my approval before you take you take my place as, as co-host. All right, well, uh, so I'll give you $2, um, two American dollars, because I'm uncultured. Um, and we'll right. there, okay? Okay, well, well, we'll work on it, man. Let me get back to you on that one. All right. I mean, I mean two, um, two American dollars will at least buy you one beer. Uh, it'll, get him a, it'll get you an iron brew, at least. So like, oh, he made the iron brew joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tasted it, Kill? Uh, no, I've had it explained to me by uh, one of our members in Black Omega. No one really knows the flavor. No, like no one. Knows. There's even an the advertisement for iron brew, and the concept of the 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 advert is that no one knows the flavor. People speculate, not oh, tastes like bubble gum or. Lemonade and 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 at the end the the advert just says can we all just agree it's fucking wonderful, which in fact it is. It's sort of like um, have made. you ever it's seen people, a it's people juice? That, that, nah, what's that easy. movie Brewfest or uh, oh what's that movie from Beerfest? Should um, watch it. There's beer involved, so why is why are you watching a movie with beer? In it? You should just drink the beer. Listen, well, alcohol is expensive, okay? Yeah, I can't afford that, dude. We're in COVID times still. Ah, uh, okay, so that's why you go to Australia, mate, because that way we're still fucking our beer and booze businesses are booming because all we can do is sit at home and drink. Yeah, well, I mean, you're also in Australia, so. Well, apparently that happens. See, in the Highlands, like uh, up north, that happens quite a lot, apparently, because there's nothing to do. So all they do is drink alcohol and wife swap. <laughs> Sounds like fuck out of town. <laughs> it all depends on whose car keys you end up with at the end of the night. <laughs> I am bruised ganker feels in the can. I, that's a that's a good way to explain it, really, isn't it? Bradley, why have you went all quiet? Have you choked on your apple? Or you, I'm eating the apple. There's <laughs> it's it's a apple. lot of apple. Hey, it's I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of apple. Did you get like an <laughs> a large apple? Yes, obviously. Why I'll would I not it. have a large apple? That's it's genetically stopped. enhanced apples right there, dude. You Redline's sure? wife made extra chewy caramel so that way a Redline can't talk. <laughs> is that not is that not like with caramel apple? Is that not how you get poisoned? But why why is that in my brain right now? Why is it the, the, the poisonous apple? I think it's the American water that poisons you. Uh, yeah, know. you are correct on that one. Is it not American water that makes your teeth more white as well? Uh, you're yeah, also correct on that one. That's why it's poison. Come on, it's dude. the bleach trying to kill you. That's 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 not, uh, so, so real quick, um, I just want to ask a quick question to everyone. Uh, the new sites, um, they just came out. They've been kind of interesting to run. I've personally run a couple of them and messed around with the event. Um, how do we feel about it? I want nothing to do with anything that's going on in that whole sphere of Doctor Who messery. E, this is the thing. Like, I think I'm still a bit better about because CCP done this wonderful thing where they've done that, the, the classic countdown to new event sort of thing. So I think as uh I don't know, for want of a better description, like as a better vet or or something or someone who's play, been playing it too long, I got it in my head that there was going to be some sort of new exciting gameplay 
where it was going to be lots of explosions and capital deaths and blah, 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 blah. So I had it in my head that that was going to happen. So it was a bit of a downer whenever the big Doctor Who symbol showed up. And it was, yeah, so I've not touched the sites yet. Oh, well, so what, what, how did it all work exactly, Rika? So the sites I did were the exploration sites, which actually I kind of enjoyed. Um, they were extremely hard, which probably could have been toned down. But yeah, it was basically just like a... Uh, Were you soloing them? Yeah, I was soloing them. Well, there's a problem. They're not... They're meant to be with two people. Yeah, Riker but, has to have friends to be able to but, do that, though. Wait, yeah, the, the, what, explore, what, what? the exploration filaments? Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I, I went... Red, like, what, what if you don't have any friends, though? Then... Uh, don't lose his eyes. I don't fucking know. I'll be your friend. Oh, thanks. I've been, I, to, I've been trying to solo them. Um, level ones are easy. There's only like three things to kill. Level twos are a little bit tricky. I had to bling out my vexer a little bit. So I've I've got level twos down, and I'm gonna see if I can solo a level three sometime soon. Play like, or something. You sound like you need a friend, Redline. Do you want me to do them with you? Why do I need a friend? What? Riding back to your uh, to you saying that you were a bitter vet and expected a different uh, set of gameplay. Um, first off, why? Why, why did you? Why did you expect know, anything different? See again, that's that was my own downfall. I was I was like, I, I got a little too optimistic. I was like, thinking first, they they want us to use our capitals to deplete a capital cash, right? But they made capitals so drastically expensive and so difficult to get a hold of for some people that now like you have pittsburgh jumping what 20 carriers into some random system tribute to save a oracle and then snuff dread bombing them that's the biggest capital fight we've seen in the past i don't know yeah, i appreciate few months snuff. i like a lot of people dislike snuff but i appreciate them because they are i think Riker, i went over this with you before they are really good at being dicks you know, <laughs> and I, I appreciate that about someone. You know, it's like you, you, like the the capitalizing the uh, the the value being the villains. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it does. But they can't really continuously do that, right? I mean, like everybody has a bunch of caches, right? Like still, yeah. But you can't continuously keep doing that without replenishing some sort of a cache, right? Like it's eventually it's gonna run out. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. So, like, who's gonna run out first? Snuff, who bleeds? I don't know, five or ten dreads, and if they don't get caught, have we? Dare we underestimate the level of cash that they actually have? Oh, we all know that their cash is cash is massive. Like, they have a massive cache of dreads, right? And they have it strewn out across the universe. But you have to first consolidate that cash. So you're gonna attrition either some on the move or something of the sort, right? And then. Let's speculate numbers here, Spicy. What 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 are we talking? What do you think? Give me an idea. Probably. I've, I've seen a screenshot of one of the Android caches with uh, over three hundred and sixty. I'm probably saying like right now. I would say right this very moment, Snuff would probably have about seven hundred to nine hundred dreads in a cache. That's just dreads. Also, oh, how many different ways can you say cache? Uh, cache, 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 and cache. Cash, cash, cache. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Kel. I was about to do that. <laughs> Red Lane, do you, do you want to do you want to try that out while you're eating your apple? Oh, I got one. Cache. Cache. There you go. <laughs> cache. Kaki. Kaki. <laughs> Karama Alt. Who's who's that? Is that, uh, that, oh, that's is that the, the bot hang? Yeah, that that's the bot that streams the audio. Oh. Uh, yes. Do we get to talk to that? Uh, well, uh, uh, <laughs> you're talking to her right now. <laughs> I, I don't... Listen, I know you're perpetually drunk, but that's not how that worked. All right. <laughs> Says who? See, why is... Why, why... Like, where is it we get this reputation from? Like, I, I realize that, yeah, it's probably true. But where is it... Where is William it Wallace. Reputation? Is he? No. <laughs> <He's> no. <not. laughs> what you need to understand, right, is the first of all, no one in Scotland speaks like Mel Gibson did in that fucking movie. That was a disgraceful accent. 
he claims to have learned from someone in th I think it was Livingston, which I don't know where, who these fucking people were, but clearly they didn't teach him right. And uh, and another thing you need to understand about Braveheart is that absolutely none of that is fucking true. <laughs> but, like, apart from the fact that he got cut into a million bits and he lost, um, like, a lot of those fights. That's it. That's about it. It's so absolutely none of that is true whatsoever, basically. So I know I probably broke. What the hell are you talking about? Very hot. hot. Why? I don't because know. he wants um, to ruin our dreams as Americans. If someone says William Wallace, and I got very upset. Who said you? You said William Wallace. No, no, I didn't say William Wallace. Who said spicy? William you Wallace? Said I did not. You said it was spicy. <laughs> Don't accuse me. You're, you're a little drunk, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Dex said it. <sighs> Dex, you started hell, talking man. about him. Fucking honestly, man. That bloody I mean, movie. <laughs> no, Freudian slip, What are you going to do with him, man? Huh? Fucking movie, honestly. That is being our downfall. That Millennials? Stupid fucking movie, man. <laughs> like, it was a good movie until it became fucking, like, did you know that um, in Edinburgh they, 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 uh, they still broadcast that in cinemas? The Braveheart movie? Because that's apparently fucking tourism in Scotland. <laughs> Go to Scotland to watch Braveheart for oh, a day. What the fuck is that, <laughs> Like, it just perpetually project this idea that ever we just wander about and we're all ginger and we wear kilts all day. Fuck's sake, man. And we've got a can of beer. That, can of that image of Scotland is great, though, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, great, but, like, Fiery red hair, that little, that little hat with a pom-pom on top, walking around with a kilt, being like, oh, I you fucking cut the fuck you did you find him saying you're very good? <laughs> well, you know, just slogging down some haggis. God, you know? we're, we're gonna get demonetized so fast. <laughs> Wait, we were monetized? Uh, what? What? Oh god, you're making money off this? Um, so, uh, no, no, they give me any fucking money. I know, I right? Like, like shit, man. It's fucking. Someone explained. To me, someone explained to me who I didn't fucking talk to to get money out of this. Uh, here's, a, here's a question. Does Hero Coalition pay their FCs? No. I, why would they pay FC? Why would I ever get paid for FCing? Come on now. Look, I, I'm going around at the moment. I'm trying to find work out what a coalitions, what alliances, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, pay their FCs. And I was just what I'd ask. But say I'm pretty sure Imperium's really the only one that pays their FC. And fraternity. How would you get Frat paid? Pays, Frat pays their FCs. Well, maybe I should start. You get paid more as an MPS IFC, in my opinion. Like also oh, like Bomber Bob, do they pay their FCs? Yeah, if they're actually successful in their fleet. And the loot and stuff okay. like that. The, I used to be in Bomber's Bar. Um and uh, like the way they worked was if you killed if you got like a bunch of loot, it was distributed evenly between the FC the hunters that caught whatever you shot at and um bombers were so it was 33 percent and then a little bit extra went to all the guys that did like jobs like bridges and fuel trucks and things like that it was a nice little setup but they've fucking shambles now mate i fucking left it's um like i i joined the uh, spectre by the way i highly recommend man it's fucking like it's like two people and they just run all of it it's fucking brilliant it's like you don't have to ask any questions it's is all worked out. So if you ever want to go on any, any any if you ever want to go on any NPSI, honestly, Spectre, I could not recommend it more. It's um much more enjoyable and, and no one is like stressed out by drama or anything like that. It's just everyone's chilled out, everyone's having a good time. And uh, no one is obstructed by the blue donut apart from me, apparently. Fucking Wait, there's a blue donut? Yeah, dude, no. it's happy. No, it's, uh, it's the blue croissant, remember? Yeah, I fucking joined and I didn't anticipate the, the issue of blue donuts, so majority of places I go is like a fucking hoard marauder, so I have to go, well, that's, uh, I'm going to the bathroom. See, what I'm hearing, Dex, is that you need to join IQ300. What is IQ300? I don't know, isn't it mana dot? 
Out of mana? No, for Dex, I'm I'm specifically saying IQ 300. Are you are you trying to poach me here, Riker? What the fuck? That's exactly what's tr trying to happen. And if I and know. honestly, could you not make it so difficult? I will make it difficult. That's why I'm here. <sighs> it's so true. I mean, look, I'm not trying to poach you, but Black and Mega is recruiting. Black and Mega? Is that not test? Is this just like a recruitment stream now? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah it's there's, nothing of, there's nothing of value to talk about in fucking Eve, so we'll just recruit for a while. Listen, all I'm going to say is that Mana was founded on the principle that uh, who the fuck cares about Killboard and all that like other stuff. That uh, community is actually the most important Eve thing in Eve because the best ship in Eve is friendship. And uh, yeah, if you don't have a good community of people that actually has a strong culture and strong bonds, then uh, you end up like uh, not successful. You end up like me, basically. I'm just saying it's more fun to get on. That's, that's what you were implying there, right? Listen, you, just, uh, you just end up like Dex with no, no friends. <laughs> or, all right, how about this? I say you end up like Cap F. Well, y'all are, yes. are fucking weird. I cannot you, follow yeah, your conversation seen, at all. You're, you're saying we're weird coming for the guy yeah. that's eating a caramel fucking apple. What's wrong with eating a caramel apple? That's it. That's like a, fucking love what caramel apples. What, what, time is it, what time is it where you are at the moment, Red Light? Oh, hey, holy sh... Wait, is that... It's oh, dumb. Shit. How you doing, dumb? Hey, guys, how you doing tonight? Oh, dumb. What's is the that matter? dumb? Where I... Hello, dumb. Hello, Dom. Hello, Dom. Dom, yeah. hello. What's up, Dom? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I cannot. Okay, well. You, you should have hey, your stuff. Got you there. <laughs> yeah. They got you there, man. LB, LB is the man. He is the only man, the, the only streamer that has a better beard than me. That you have a beard? Man. I can't picture a Scottish man with a beard. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, fuck, you, are you saying you have my beard is not on point? Like, I, I just, on I have stream, no I was like, for 50 gift subs, I will shave my beard. And I was told by everyone on the stream, and like, really included, no, you're not fucking allowed to do that. We would just refund them. Did you just ban the. What? what? Well, we need to see your beard before we make that judgment. Well, you're gonna have to watch the next camp stream then. Yeah. Oh, LB does have a beautiful beard, though, you are correct. I've got that beard. Hello, Wait, you LB, need to show LB, us your beard now, then. LB has the bear beard. You have to go see it, man. It's lovely. It's, like, very pointy and stuff. It's pointy in on, on unusual places. Oh, I love that emote, LB. Exactly, see? There you go, man. 124 people? Since when did we get that many people? Like, who have you been paying, Redly, to come along? Well, they, they, were, they were here to watch the Keepstar. They just uh, stuck All around right. All right. for the they, show. They just accidentally left the browser on or something? Eh? No, we, we asked them to stick around because we had a great show planned for them. No, uh, I think you're paying for fucking viewbots or something. It's a pretty serious <laughs> accusation from someone who's trying to suckle my teats. <laughs> There you go, Dex is in the uh, streamer's chat of uh, New Eden Forest. Tagged you. Nah, still got a better beard than you, mate. Fuck off. <laughs> I gotta see it to believe it. Fine. I, 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 I will fucking take your challenge when I find a fucking picture of myself here. Look at that, mate. That is one of the big beard. What that is, is one, that? That, that is, is peach of... fuzz with a little bit of frosting on top, mate. What is that? No, no, no. We, we, we can't fucking. You know, we need to. We, we all can't grow a beard yet. Yeah, no, I could definitely see that in that photo. <laughs> mate, mate, what you need to understand is in, in that picture, I only shaved that morning. Uh, I think I went about n nearly two years because of the lockdown without shaving before I got it like trimmed up, and so know, <laughs> at one point it was everywhere. <laughs> we need to make sure everyone knows what the fuck we're talking about here. So there we go. I'm gonna maybe picture a my. Keeping in mind everyone who's watching right now that uh, I only shaved that fucking morning. So look at that intimidating beard. <laughs> I'm talking about you guys' beard, and nobody can even see him, dude. 
It's kind of really oh. sad, dude. Uh, we are like having a build off right now. So, Dominark, I've, uh, being a member of the Imperium, how uh, how's the uh, I guess the pinata been? I unfortunately missed the pinata, but I've been talking to it's people. Still going. It sounds like it's been pretty fucking good. <laughs> Were you at the uh, the event? Or no, the, I was uh, drinking all the event. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, you've, uh, so you weren't at uh, the DC meetup? No, I I'm, I live out in yeah. Iowa. I'm too far away for that. So what you're saying, Dominic, is you went and go into actual fights and set in, instead of shooting stationary objects? I like doing both. Um. <clears throat> And there's nothing wrong with liking doing both either. I, I, I don't, I don't actually don't have a preference. I don't mind shooting either one. As long as I'm shooting something and not, not getting something. Not digging, shooting. But yeah, no, the, uh, the loot pinata is still going. I've still got that client open in the background. Nothing's really changed. It's just clean up now. I did, I did see the, the sphere of fucking containers. That was quite, that was quite scary. I'm kind of surprised it didn't totally fuck the server. Oh, it did. It, it absolutely did. did. The, the server is in a tragic state right now. It's been 10% tie-dye for like 12 hours. Yeah, that's not my idea of a good time, Redline. It's... Well, people are getting paid handsomely for it, so. Spicy, don't mm -hmm. look at the kill board. I've already seen it. I don't really care. Uh, if, if I spent all day looking at the kill board, dude, I would pop a blood vessel and then die, so. Did you, have you, have any of you ever seen that cartoon, right? It always makes me laugh. Where it was, I, I think it might, to be honest with you, actually, it might have only been in the UK. It was called Stressed Eric. It just reminded me of Spicy whenever you said about popping the blood vessel. It was a thing, right? Where a guy called Eric, funnily enough, would go throughout his day and a variety of different events would stress him out to the point where a vein in his head would get bigger and bigger and then one single event would push him over the edge and the big vein would pop out of his head and strangle him. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know, I found it strangely entertaining and a good reference to life in general that um, you should be scared of that big vein in your head going to strangle you. Wow. I uh, bet that for a conversation stopper, fuck's sake. That's pretty good. As much as I like strangulation, you know what I mean? Oh, God. No, no. Pretty, pretty, pretty good conversation stopper there. Thanks, man. That's, that's an achievement in itself. So I guess, is there anything else, like, with Eve that's been, that's happened that anyone else wants to, wants to throw in the hat? Oh. I mean, not anything that hasn't already been talked about to death. Well, Cap I mean, left the both. conflict that yeah, the conflict mm -hmm. south, like Cap F leaving, like I'm, nothing's I'm really relevant anymore. You know how bad my fucking luck was, Spicy. Honestly, I joined Cap F like ages ago, like a year and a bit ago, right? Because yeah. I knew a lot of guys there, and I like I, I had played with them before in DPCI, and and I thought this might be quite a good time. A week later, we went to war, and my misery was fucking compounded so i spent a year of shooting stationary objects that's how bad my fucking luck is i would have and, just um, simply left i, I would have just I, I should have just fucking quit the game and then and then i leave and two months later they leave hold so, and join snuff and now they're having the time of their life exactly mate that's that's what my luck is like man honestly see honestly dex i think you should just come and join hero like just just pull the trigger. Um, let me get back to you on that one. But no, hmm. I think I think everything's like been beat to death. Like we just need to wait for new conflicts to arise, and the conflict mainly brewing is the possibility of you know horde deploying south and you know heating up the south a little bit more. Fucking uh, don't say about deploying south because I'll have to go and. What, what, why? What goes on south? I don't. I like. I am very uneducated when it comes to maps. So, like, what well, uh, the Eve map? I mean, so what exactly goes on down south? What, what, fire, what uh, fire coalition has been uh, trying to push in RMC, and uh, RC has been going and trying to help defend them. 
that wasn't the case recently, though. Yeah, so the whole situation is... Um, the uh, Fire Coalition declared war on RMC. RMC lost uh, impasse. Impasse is now, like, properly in fire control for the most part. Um, there's, like, little pockets of space that aren't in their control. Um, and then... Whatchamacallit, the, uh... We were, we were going up there to help, but then due to recent events and, uh, recent, recent stuff happening, like, we, we stopped for a little bit because, well... So, I'm looking on Dotland, and it says that all the Sov belongs to Red. Yeah, the Sov can belong to whoever it wants, like, it's... They, there's no infrastructure there anymore, like, it's... It's obvious because it, there's like no jump bridges or anything either. So like, it's it's about who who owns the infrastructure more than the I hubs and everything. So is I heard last that uh that Red was unanchoring and basically trying to save basically saving their stuff. Supposedly. Um, yeah, the most part, Yeah, for the most part, that's what I've heard. Who lives in Esoteria now? Now we're Alliance, and they're going to, they're, they're at war with Farah, Fkick, and that Stain group. So, like, the Stain group, right, um, they've just been, like, notorious for sieging Esso. So, like, Esoteria is a place to go for, like, shooting things? It's Pretty much, a yeah. place to go. Like, there's a lot of people nearby, though. A lot of people. Hmm. A bit interesting. And it's, and it's there. Goons show up pretty frequently. <laughs> you got fire. You got RC, Task Horde. Everybody's there. So, like, I'm looking at Faith of Balis, and, uh, which is between Esoterian and, and Impasse. Um, is, do, we, do you think fire is going to go and push into Esso or just keep the two newest regions that they've added? I mean, fire... Oh no, yeah, fire. Um, I know RA got a bunch of buy hubs, and it depends on what they're gonna follow. But the fact that D in DTACP there is now an initiative keepster, and we know now from the uh, the Pinata party that they do have supers, uh, capitals, and titans in DP now, or at least in Esoteria, it is going to uh, make people start thinking uh, a little bit more because it's not only going to be subcaps and subcaps. We're gonna deal with that fucking. Cancer is a bloody um, sky netting going on with their uh, carriers and supers, so. So, like, I can't obviously speak because I'm kind of in the loop of things. Like, not really, but kind of. Um, I can't really speak on a lot of things, but I can tell uh, you that... Uh, uh, a quiet bit of flex in there. Did you see that, guys? I am, I am, I am in the loop. I'm, like, oh, no, kind I, of in the loop. I, I, I'm not I'm really, the, like... Did you see that, Kill? That, that was about... <laughs> That was like, about, yeah, I mean, me, that, that me and Keller are both in the same boat. Like, it's like we're both in the loop of things that are happening, but like we can't really talk about it. Did you did you see that, Ray Keller? That was about flexing. It's like, look at this, lads. I know something you don't. Sorry, carry on, I mean, lads. I mean, we know me and Spicy know the same thing, so. Shut up, Foxy. Oh, but you can talk about it, huh? No, no, no. We, can't, no we're all, we know lots of stuff, but we're not telling you who. <laughs> see, that just tells me that you don't know anything at all. I'm, oh, I don't oh, oh, oh. I'm perfectly happy to fucking admit I know nothing. I know not that you dex them. You were just talking. I know to nothing, you. Jon Snow. You just, know nothing. Just get back to your fucking apple red line and let the big boy. The big boy's it's gone. <laughs> fucking have your apple. No, because the big boys are talking about nothing. I know they aren't actually. Hey, we're fancy. talking about something. Something that nobody knows. It, it might not I be good. It, it might be not. And what? Sorry, my your brain. My brain just had a crash. Yeah, Riker. Exe has stopped working. I never worked in the first place. Everything I've ever done was uh, just random code firing off at random points. So, like these Doctor Who sites, by the way, is anyone doing them in like night nice ships, like Marauders and stuff? No, because you can't. No. I'm really sad. 
As far as I know, they're only dropping commodities too. Like it's not even actual stuff that they're dropping. I mean, they're so I've gotten uh, small little event things that can be used to build other things for the event. I've gotten skins and stuff. I do like the Titan skins. Like the Avatar skin is by far the best. But do you have a Titan or Spacey? Um, of course. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> oh, it's the fucking one percent over here. Yeah, right. Flexing the Titan, flexing the position. Filthy did space rich, dude. Did that? So you have a Titan and you know stuff. There you go. That's fucking. No, no, no. Uh, we covered that. I don't know stuff. You you win Eve now. You you know stuff that, but you're in the loop, but you don't. Act, you're not actually in the loop. There we go. See now we're now we're covering the real process. All right, there we go. I just so I'd clear up. In the loop, not in the loop, but kind of in the loop, but not really in the loop. But there is a loop. It's gonna throw your head through a loop. It, it's a series of tubes, basically. It's like the Matrix without there being another world. Honestly, man, we have literally. Any tell me this by the way, if any I appreciate single malt whiskey from Scotland. I never used drank any of it before. Never no, sadly. I always wanted to though, because I went to I had a knife fight over Scottish and Irish whiskey a couple of years back actually. No, this this man speaks fucking business. Tell me more. A knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is spiciness. Tell me more, mate. Uh, look, granted, I was wearing a fucking plate armor at the time because I do the medieval combat reenactment. But the whole point of our argument was he's an Irish whiskey drinker, I'm a Scotch uh, Scotch whiskey drinker, and uh, yeah, I won because I'm ambidextrous. So I was able to swap knife to my other hand, grab his primary with my primary, pull him forward, and get a killing blow into his kidneys. So I won. It's a Scotch whiskey. One, so <laughs> what, what, what kind of Scotch whiskey? Tell me more. What what what, what kind of, do you drink? Um, due to health, I haven't been able to drink in years, but um, and probably the shit that we get, you know, bottom shelf fucking from Dan Murphy's. <laughs> hey, so I rich. I'm a labourer. Uh, tell me, give me some names here, some of decent value. I gotta ask, how long have we been live? Mm, an hour. Oh. So I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, does anyone have anything else that they want to talk about in terms of Eve? Because if not... Uh... Kale never told me about what, what kind of whiskey he drinks, so we haven't cleared that part up yet. All right. Kale, call it out. Come on. Give me Chivas, some names. Chivas. Chivas. What the fuck is that? Chivas. What is that? C-H-I-V-A-S, mate. I've never heard of that. What, is this like some Australian whiskey? Probably. It's, so it isn't actually Scotch then? It's just whiskey? Johnny within, Walker? I don't know. It's, 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 no, it's don't, don't, don't you dare say Johnny, Johnny Walker. <laughs> hey, I didn't say it was culture. I just said I drank Scotch. Fucking Johnny Walker. Pish. Utter nonsense, man. That's you only You only drink Johnny Walker if you watch Blade Runner before or something. <laughs> Uh, anyway. look, with the Doctor Who events, I watched uh, Redline stream them when he was doing with Mav, and I've got to admit, the art department and the um, the guys who do like the warp effects outdid themselves with this. Like, this is, it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, to be fair, yeah, I, I I must agree. I have seen some of the visuals. I haven't like invested any time in the actual events, but yeah, I agree. The 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 visuals look fucking amazing. Oh, the visuals look great. Like, we're, we're seeing, you know, with Pochfin and now with the Doctor Who events, we're seeing more of what they can do. We're not looking at just the same space that we've been looking at since, you know, Eve first came out. You know, we're starting to see different skyboxes, more planets, different kinds of suns. It's, it's really nice to see. And I'd like to see them splashed throughout Eve, either through some kind of a lore event or even just like an update in the visuals. So I'm sick of seeing, you know, the blue in Kaldari space, you know, the green in Galante. Like, let's, uh, let's, fucking, let, let's spice up the skybox a bit. It was a proper groan there, I love that. <laughs> oh, Don is here. Oh, I got a proper groan. Uh, also, Redline, I just want to say, uh, part of the deal for pushing back uh, between two Keepstars was that everyone that was currently on the stream had to come on to B2K. 
and there's like five people. Look, man, I told them, I said, you guys got to come, and they were like, no, we don't. Just, you know, just talking to the bottle. <laughs> cool. Welcome that's done. okay. Nobody wanted to see Mav fail at like uh, over V mechanics again. So, oh jeez. Anyway, cool. Don. Hi, Don. Hey. So, Don, this is gradually become a recruitment um, uh, stream. So, I'll give you. I think we'll all give you your opportunity to uh, to try and poach someone from this channel. No, no, Dawn's coming to join Black Omega. She's going to be our director of uh, mining. Mining. Yes. Yep, and uh, head for logistics. <laughs> Why would I want to direct a puny corpse mining ops when I run Ooh. an alliance's mining ops? Well, no, when you, are you... you'll be joining Black Omega, and you're going to be taking those positions within test. When when are you next doing that mining op? By the way, Don, just out of curiosity. <laughs> Whenever your mother is done sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's right. Fine. What? Fantastic. <laughs> that was that. I I approve. My mom doesn't suck dick. Oh, the did the Ragnarok in Attack A actually uh, get someone in? No, BGK is here. Don't let him in. Don't please don't let him in. Please don't let him. In. Let him in. BGK is awesome. Hey BGK, uh, how you uh, doing, brother? This guy. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? This did you did fraternity get the rag or did Goons get it? Goons had it locked already. So, well, apparently I'm racking up a pretty big bill, so I'm just gonna deny all knowledge. <laughs> yeah, knowledge. I'm gonna come for him, man. He realize how tense this is. BGK has a picture of my. F he has a badge with my fucking face on it. Is his desk? What is that all about? I, I know, right? What is it all about? How, I wonder how, how we got it, there. How the fuck did it end up in your desk? You weren't even there. Just, just explain, right? I went to Eve London, and I come up uh, like what I done. Like you'll notice on my 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 Discord thing, right? Um, you know Rex Rex Javix, right? I've, um, from ages ago. Oh, Goon's got the, the rag, by the way. Ah, oh, cool. Did you get the, it out? Cheese for letting me know. So, like, you remember uh, from years ago, Futurama? They they done this little sketch. Where they had the, all the historical presidents and they had their heads in a jar. Yeah. Um, well, Rick's done uh, an illustration of his head in a jar with the, the yellow skin, though obviously the the Futurama kind of uh, visuals. So, and I seen it on his Twitter and I was like, I need that in my life. So I DM'd him and saying, listen, whatever you need, can you just make this? So, and I sent him a picture of me and, uh, and he made the, the sketch. Uh, and he made the, the illustration, sorry, and now I have it as part of my stream now, and what I did was I put it on a badge, and I took it to Eve London, and I, I handed out badges and stuff, and somehow, <laughs> fuck knows how, but BGK ended up with that badge on his fucking desk. I have no oh, yeah, idea dude. how it got there. I remember no. asking the, whoever gave me at the time, like, oh, this is actually really neat. Like, I've, I've seen, like, on Fiverr.com, people were getting professional Simpsons artists or professional Futurama artists to draw their, their personas. I was like, oh, did you get it from here? And whoever gave it to me was like, I don't know. I was like, oh, cool, good talk. And then they just, like, walked away. And that was, like, the last I spoke to them for the event. I was like, cool, thanks for the badge. So it just gradually made it to, I don't know, man. But yeah, man. Yeah, so if you were to Eve London, you would have, uh, did you meet my, um, military director in Tess Carmen? I did! He's a wonderful fella. I think Teltac went down there as well, Oh, Oh, I got ambushed by a bunch of tests at all. That had me hard tackle. Oh, but you loved every moment of it. I'll, <laughs> send, I'll send you the bill. Yeah, well, honestly, you, you would, you would have been, you would have been disappointed with the, uh, the... Um, you would have been disappointed with the, the levels of drinking down there, Kyle. It was, it was amateur at best. I mean, look, my uh, my partner, my fiance, uh, is able to put down a case by herself in a night. So that's like mm -hmm. a case of twenty four long necks. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's apparently, so we're to goon swarm me right now, and like apparently this weekend, we've just with like. Maybe fifty to a hundred of us 
put in eight to ten grand at the hotel bar. Oh, <laughs> for food and alcohol. Oh yes. Yeah. They leave the lot. They left the lobby open for us late. They're like, listen, we normally close at eleven, but we like your business, so. <laughs> you guys, okay. you guys a lot of fucking money, so we're just gonna stay open. <laughs> we're gonna stay open till two. Uh, also, uh, BJK, I considering this cannot be said enough. Um, congratulations again on winning your guys' war you record. You didn't time. win the war. Thank you so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're just throwing abandoned keep starts, but there used to be a stage of it. That was a goons win. keep start, dude. Listen, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, spicy. I put up with spin and lying and pappy. I'm. I don't. I'm not gonna put up with it here. They won. <laughs> the spin and slandering. I mean, I mean, look, if, we, if, we, if, we're, if we're doing hot takes, you know, if we saw the amount of numbers in Potchfin that we saw in Delve during the CNTZ, we would have won that war. <laughs> but you didn't, so. Therefore. No, nah, because we did have 1,300 fucking fraternity oh, members. Oh, you want that. What you get for not being interesting? Nightmare. You guys just weren't good opponents. You just turtled up. It was boring to shoot. It was like kicking a puppy. Listen, if Norris had listened to Billy's plan, you guys, they would still be sitting in fucking stain trying to entose this one eye hub. It may be the slow and steady cock teasing pace that Billy likes to do is not the best option in Eve for war. Wait, Billy was leading that war? You guys seem to all yeah. think Billy was the one leading. It wasn't. It was like it a was, council of like it, goblins. It was bullshit. Billy. It was like it the bullshit. leaders of everyone. It was the council of goblins. Guys, no, it was literally being like Billy, being like, "Hey, this is what I think we should do," and the rest of them are so stupid when it comes to military ideas. They're like, "Sure, sounds great," and they just went with it. You well, have, like, I was in some of those meetings, and that is definitely not the way so, that went. <laughs> so can I can I throw something out? Maybe the reason Gobbin said yes to these horrible plans is because then he knew that tail that Tess would fail Cascade, and then he could just snipe all the talent away from Tess when Tess came and lived on on their couch. No, look, man, we're just we're just rustling, you know. We're a tree after the winter. We're rustling all the dead leaves off to allow the new growth, you know. We're gr and we're growing stronger. I'd say I think uh, I think instead of getting off all the dead branches, you got some pretty healthy branches that fell off. Not gonna lie. Nah, nothing Listen, of value was lost or hashtag already replaced. Listen, hurricanes don't discriminate between healthy and dead limbs. Exactly. Yeah, but the tree grows stronger that stays up, right? You know, bark gets stronger. That's not how no, hurricanes trees there. work. Yeah, they are. What? Any tree that gets damaged grows over the damage even stronger than before. What? But it's, what are we talking about? it's still left with a pretty but big scar. But it's also scar. gnarly and ugly and not very good. Have you ever Just looked like at a tree that's been... Bitch, I will cut you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen what trees look like after like they've been split in half? Oh shit. One side looks yeah, okay. But I, I live in Australia. Good. I see what trees look like after they survive going uh, through a firestorm. You know, uh, we're the same deal. We're just going to brush what, it off the ash and it's going to grow stronger and taller. Hey, uh, talk? Altari's here. Hey, Altari. What, what, how you doing, brother? What are you? What? What is it we're talking about here? I don't understand. We're talking about rattlesnakes. All right, okay. Yeah. What about them? Rattlesnakes um, are nasty. I think you're pretty cool, dude. All right, well, if you guys want to talk about rattlesnakes and stuff, we can do that while also watching the Keepstar thing. <laughs> yeah, I think, um... What's there to watch? It's a bunch of goons running around, dude. That, yeah, bro, we're here to watch a bunch watch. of goons. But look at the gecko prices. This is the problem with rattlesnakes. Like, obviously, the gecko is the best heavy drone to use with them, but those prices are going up. Do you reckon CCPs have them drop the blueprints? The uh, BPOs and BPCs for them. Do you think that CCP is going to do anything beneficial to this game ever? Like, they're going to abandon a Keepstar. No, that was Goons. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know Goons is CCP? They. Oh, yeah. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the three CSM members at the moment. Oh, is that the new narrative? Yep. That's what yeah. that's what uh that's what all the Pappy's going with. Okay, cool. We just want to make Pappy. sure I'm up to date on the narrative. Pappy's dead, yeah, the herder. Pappy's not no, right. No, Test is dead. Alter right, it's no, Legacy's dead. Test is still alive. It's it's diet Pappy. Because Pappy went on a huge diet and lost a bunch of weight. The, uh, no, no, the strong, super lean, super keen. 
Now that Don's here, are, are, are we not all supposed to pretend we're joining Imperium now? Nah, you guys are all joining Omega. Alright. Why don't you all join uh, so, Taylor? Dex I, join Dex, I tried that, but I'm blacklisted, so... What? What, what did you do to get blacklisted? Everything. <laughs> oh no, 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 you need to tell me this. What, what did you do? You need to do something really fucking bad to get blacklisted, man. No, you don't. I've been blacklisted like ten times. All right. Just got to go. He's gonna say tiny man Switch it. And uh, with that concern, we're pretty much out of stuff Eve related to talk to. Uh, we're gonna switch it back to uh, the Keepstar cam. So uh, yawn. see you guys in a minute. Yawn. Just let me know what you have. What did I do? I just walked.